Dun, 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 dun. Today we're talking about 8-Bit Beard Co. And specifically, we're going to talk about all of the scents. I've got eight different scents here to talk about. Uh, welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I had an opportunity to try 8-Bit last year. I think it was for an extravaganza. I think maybe this was the summer extravaganza. So I got Tood Town, which is a blackberry oud, and then I've got the Blue Devil, which is a tropical leather in the uh, butter. It worked well. And then recently 8-bit was featured in the March Madness live stream that I had last month and uh, Sean the owner sent out all of their current scents. I've got like eight different scents here to go over with you guys. So let's talk about the uh, prices here quickly. So the prices are uh, $19.99 for an oil right now as I'm looking at the website it does say $17.99 so I'm not sure how long that sale will last. A uh, butter's $15.99. You can get a combo but I tell you what it's a little bit different uh, when you go to the combos you actually have to go to a little bit of a different spot. So let me go ahead and show you the website here quickly, but uh, it's pretty cool. You can actually go and play some of these old video game emulators from the 80s and 90s uh, right there where it says video games. But if you'll go to an oil here, let's go to the two town that I have. We'll be talking about that in a minute. If you'll scroll down uh, right here. So you can uh, pick out what you want. So if you want the oil and butter, you can get that for an extra 10% off. So $30.58 for the combo. And that's before any other kind of discount code. So I wanted to show you that because uh, it was a little bit different. Uh, by the way, guys, I am an, now an, a proud affiliate of 8-Bit Beer Co. So you can save an extra 15% with Banjo 15. So I wanted to go ahead and say that while we're talking about prices. Uh, let's see what else we have here for prices. Uh, they also have some soaps that are seven dollars and i have one i haven't had a chance to try that yet sean sent that out and i uh, haven't gotten that in the shower yet and then uh, brand new candles as well for 16.49 and that's got a six and a half ounce uh, candle with a wood wick on it so if you like candles uh, definitely some of these would be great candles for sure all right so let's talk about the oil here and that's what i'm going to focus on mostly i do have a butter that worked really well for me uh, i haven't tried that in a while in fact i couldn't remember if i actually had this on my shelf so i found that because other Otherwise, uh, Sean sent me all of the uh, little sample vials here just to try the different scents. So I don't have all of the labels for everything. But if I can put up some cool artwork here in the corner, I will do that as I always try to do for you guys. But the oil feels really good. It's uh, And it's been a while since I tried it. I went and tried these uh, the new scents that Sean sent out to me. And very impressive uh so it, this one made made an impression on me for in the in the b b best way possible it's like okay i haven't had an oil in a while that feel this good a brand new oil that i've tried so felt extra good and then uh as i was getting ready for this video a, a little while ago i was typing up my notes and stuff it's like oh that would be why so let's talk about the uh the carrier blend is a little bit more uh complex than than some of the uh other companies out there so you get babasu oil castor oil golden jojoba Absinian oil, hemp, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, and cucumber seed oil. And as I said, uh, one of the best feeling new oils that I've tried this year for sure uh, and, and in, a, in a long time. So that's probably going to go if I make a uh, like top feeling beer kind of oil blends. This one would definitely be on it. All right. So that's out of the way. Let's go over the uh, the scents here. So like I said, I've got a lot of different scents. Uh, maybe I'll go from uh, my least favorite to my most favorite. There's two here that I really don't like, and then the rest of them I, I really enjoy. Uh, and so that's not bad if you get four out of six, set, or wait a minute, six out of eight. I got a lot of oils here. One of them, it says it's a retired scent. So I don't know if it'll be coming back, but I really enjoy it. And it is second banana. Uh, and it's just kind of like a banana split sundae ice cream kind of thing. It's what it was uh, supposed to be with nuts and a cherry and that kind of stuff. I get uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't. You guys remember the runts uh, candy that you used to get out of like the the you put a quarter in, you turn the dial, and you get the candy to drop down. You get a handful of candy that had the little bananas in it. it had like little round pieces, little, and then it had the little bananas. That's what this smells like. I don't didn't think I would like it. I actually like it. I, I'm liking banana scents and beard stuff, and I never thought I would. There's been a couple that I like, uh, and this is one of them. So that one's called Second Banana. It's on the retire list, so I'm not sure if it'll come back. Check out the comments below. Maybe Sean will comment on that. 
All right, uh, and then there were two here that, uh, as I said, that I don't care for, uh, for whatever reason, you know, just personal preference. But one of them is called King Koopa. I don't know why I'm showing you this. It doesn't have the artwork on it. We'll just put the, the graphic up there. So King Koopa is kind of like a vanilla, uh, tobacco vanilla. It says pipe tobacco, bright citrus twist and vanilla. And I've heard some other people comments like, hey, they really like it. It's a neat twist on a uh, tobacco vanilla. And something in there, I just it just does not do it for me. You know, to each his own. If you like King Koopa, put it down in the comments and let, let us know why. Uh, another one that's a little bit more recent one is called Pink Peach. Uh, and this one's a little bit too peachy for me. I'm coming to find out that I don't know why I like banana, but I don't like peach scents as much in beard stuff. I don't know why. This smells a little bit, I don't know, it's just a little bit too much like, you know, strawberry shortcake, peaches kind of stuff for me. Um, I'm sure some people like that. Probably make a good candle, smell up your house really good, but I don't like it in my beard. All the rest of these that I, I do. So those two, King Koopa and Pink Peach is not for me. I like the second banana, it's just retired. Next up, we've got Blue Devil, and Blue Devil is the tropical leather scent. And um, you know, I'm not a huge fan on leather, but I do like this one. This is the one I've got in the butter that I wore uh, last year. Uh, and it works really well for all you leather fans with a cool little take on that with a little uh, tropical notes to it, kind of a pineapple and something else. It's not peach, it's pineapple something. Leather on that uh, works really well. All right, uh, and then these next four, these last four, I really enjoy. Uh, in fact, uh, probably at least one of these will be making my top sense of the half a year or year thing. I don't know if I'll make one in the summer again like I did last year. I probably will. But next up, we're going to talk about, it's called Hero of Time, and it's Oak, Amber, and Bergamot. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, so it's more of the gentlemanly kind of cologne-ish vibe, aftershave, if you will. Uh, Amber smooths it out a little bit. So that one's called Hero of Time. Let me know if you've tried 8-Bit in the comments and what your favorite scents are. Uh, next up is the newest release. It's called Mega Cut Man. Uh, I think this was a collab with Daniel, uh, which is the Disney Beardsman, who has like every barbershop scent under the sun. This one is a very special twist uh, on a barbershop because you kind of get like the, the Sprite Mountain Dew vibe to start with. And then you get the, the powdery stuff comes in just a little bit, but not much on the powder, but it's more like a Mountain Dew kind of scent at first. And then it turns into uh, the barbershop once that uh, carbonation and lemon lime kind of runs, runs out on that. So, uh, yes, yeah, so it's got some amber, musk and sandalwood down as the base once the other the popping notes start dying off. So really neat if you haven't tried that and you like both the kind of the. Uh, lemon lime uh, carbonation Mountain Dew kind of scents and you like barbershops you definitely want to try that one all right and then next up we've got Tood Town and Tood Town and I guess I should show you this one Tood Town Blackberry Oud and this is a good one I don't I like I like Blackberry with Oud better than I do Blueberry with Oud there's something about it it's just not quite as uh, I don't know not quite as fruity it's a little bit more uh, towards the cologne vibe on that yeah, really nice. So it's it's pretty much a, a even even mixture of the blackberry and the oud, and it's probably got other stuff in it too that we're not seeing here. Yeah, blackberry oud, amber, anything that has amber in it, I seem to love. Sea salt and frankincense, and frankincense is one that I really do enjoy. I don't really get much of the frankincense, but I do get the amber uh, and the sea salt frankincense kind of blended together as some base notes on that. And then I think my favorite one is Thrilla Gorilla which is sweet lemon, citrus, oak barrel, and a musky cologne. Yeah, and that's the, yeah, I like that one the best. Um, that one is a little bit more, and maybe it's because it's springtime. It's like a spring cologne kind of idea. So it's not, it's got that lemon, so it's got a little bit of bite to it, so it doesn't have the amber and the, the real smoothness to it, but it's a little bit more of that, uh, that, lemony cologne great for a springtime or a summer uh, morning if you will but that was called thriller gorilla and that is all of the scents guys so i hope you guys enjoy my little foray into that by the way you can get a a sample pack so and they actually have little labels on it that uh, look better than uh than this which was just a little thing written on there but it does have some little artwork and the artwork hadn't came in yet when sean sent these out to me but you can get uh a 
a sample pack for $24.99. And I think that has one, two, three, four, five, six different scents in it is what it looks like, at least on the picture that I'm looking at. So that'd be a good way to get your feet wet and try uh, eight of, or excuse me, six of those scents. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you soon. Thanks.